Hey guys, it's Carolyn here with the Hillside Market. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I made this cute little ornament using dried oranges, lavender, and eucalyptus. Uh, the oranges were dried by myself and the lavender and eucalyptus were both grown by me just this past summer. Um, it's a really fun project, super easy, and hopefully it will inspire you to add eucalyptus and lavender to your garden too. All right, let's get started. So I'm using this leather cord because it's what I had around home. This entire craft began based on what I had available already. So I'm just kinda, sorry. I'm just kinda doing whatever inspires me, whatever feels right. I don't really have a plan as I'm making these. So I put a couple wood beads on. Now I think I'll do some oranges. And I just found this random hanger in my junk drawer just for poking holes in the orange. So you just like poke a hole, sorry. Poke a hole at the top, poke a hole at the bottom and then that's how you'll feed the cord through so that your oranges hang straight. So there's the cord. They're actually pretty tough, these oranges, like once they're dry. I thought they would be a lot more breakable, but I'm pleasantly surprised. So I thread the cord through one end of the orange. Now I'm coming through the other end. And you'll notice I didn't cut the cord yet. That's just because it's hard for me to, to try to guess what length I need. So I just figure if I keep it attached, then I know I'm good. All right, let's do another orange. I think I'm gonna stack three, three oranges. So remember, just make your holes. So when you're drying your oranges, I dried my oranges at 250 for about three hours and I did not like blot them dry before putting them in. Not this batch anyways. I did do another batch where I took out all the extra moisture and those ones took an hour less. They, they only took two hours to dry. So it, it, if you wanna go, if you're in a rush, by all means, probably try to squeeze out as much moisture as you can first. I'm just sorting through my oranges, seeing which one I want to use. That one. Where did my... There it is. I just love doing this type of stuff. So if you're anything like me, you'll enjoy this a lot. And there's something about dried oranges. Oh my gosh, they are this the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And then you put that with the dried lavender and the eucalyptus that I grew by myself. What's not to love, right? All right, okay, so now I think I'm gonna do a wood bead here. And I just got honestly super lucky. I had these wood beads here. I stole them from my daughter's craft room. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't notice. And I had the leather cord here already as well. Okay. It's, a, it's definitely like a finicky project, but it does go by, like it goes relatively quickly. You could do quite a few ornaments in one sit down. It's just the fine details trying to get the right lengths and whatnot. Okay, and now I'm going to grab some lavender sprigs. See, lavender sprigs. And some eucalyptus. Just dig through my pile here. That looks like a nice one. I have to take off the bottom leaf so I have something to tie. That looks beautiful. Okay. And now I'm literally going to just wrap this in here. So I'm just placing it on 
my little ornament and I'm just wrapping. So it is very fragile. I am planning to do these as little gifts. And what I'm going to do is just wrap them in a little tissue paper sleeve and just handle them with extreme care. And then let's knot this up here. Trying not to break the stems. You can't be too rough because again, your stems are all dry. So if you already grow eucalyptus and lavender, you're off to the races, you can do this. But if you don't, I would recommend giving it a shot and then next Christmas, you can make literally the most beautiful handmade ornaments ever. These are just gorgeous. Like I am literally obsessed with them. Okay. Getting down to the fine details here. Love that. Scissors, there they are. Cut the end, I'm gonna just tie a knot in the bottom so my beads don't fall off. The only disadvantage to the leather cord is it is a little tougher to tie knots in because it's a little stickier, right? And then I just need to decide how long I want to trim this to. There. All right, there's another ornament. I just love how these turn out. They're honestly just like the easiest little DIY Christmas gift. They look high class because they are high class. They're gorgeous. And you could do so many different styles. There's another one. You just go with the flow and do whatever speaks to you. Ten on ten would recommend. If you're considering giving this a try, I would definitely recommend it. Extremely happy with the results. I hope you guys like the video and feel inspired to give it a shot yourselves. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of my content, be sure to check out my Instagram page at the Hillside Market. Until next time, guys. Thanks for being here.